This is Jake with today's tech tip. Today we're going to talk about health reports. Health reports are essential for body shops in getting repaid for pre and post scans, but is also a major piece for automotive repair shops. We have our ability to do individual system selection a system scan for just simple communication, or a full health report. In doing the full health report, it will identify every module that responds back and which ones have codes associated with it. When it's done scanning, we'll push the report button. I can then add a technician's name, the license plate, is it a pre or a post scan, up in the top left. It'll ID the vehicle for me. I can add other quick items. Lights on the dash, hearing a squeak, I smell gasoline, I feel a shake. Maybe it cranks no start, or it's a no start, no crank. And then other notes that I can put in there. I can add an RO number. I can add in other notes with the USB port on the side and top of most of our scanners I can plug in a remote keyboard and mouse to type these items in faster. I can load an image. I can take a photo with the built-in cam forward and rear facing cameras the scanner is built with. There are zoom functions and other such to get the right image. Or if I've already taken a photo with the scan tool I can choose from a number of photos that are saved in the scanner, size it up, and then I'll attach to the top of my report. Then if there are other photos I wish to attach, something I found underneath the hood, a dent in the rear quarter panel of the vehicle, I can upload those to the report as well. And then hit OK. This produces a PDF for me. I have the ability to it'll have the shop logo in the top left, shop address and name, any notes that were made, type of report, time and date stamp, how many modules were found, how many had codes, the technician, the repair order number, VIN, mileage, and more. Then it'll list out the codes against all the modules and all the modules found. Here's where I may address this ADOS issue with the customer that they may or may not have been aware of. Other notes made here and the added pictures. I can hit the print up here in the top left corner. If I'm connected to the internet, the same internet the printer is connected to, it'll identify it in the top left. I can select up from other printers that may be on that network. It'll give me a preview of the image and then in the top right I can click to print and it will wirelessly print to that printer. I can also share this document through different file share, email, Teams, other communication devices that are loaded onto this open Android tablet that our scanner is built on. Then I can also produce a QR code. And that QR code I can scan from the screen and it will populate in the top right of the health report for when I print it so I could scan it from a printed copy of this report as well. If I'm doing an ADOS calibration I can select my calibration, scan tool will walk me through the procedures. Once complete it'll give me the option to print a report and I can use this to show that I completed the calibration correctly and I can add it to the pre-scan report. And so as we scroll down to the bottom of the report that I made when the car came in, it now has attached the ADOS diagnostic results that I successfully completed that calibration and the type of calibration it was. I can also attach a battery health report, then take that report, I select combine max battery report, select my battery report and it will attach it to the health report.
There is now also the option to have the customer sign the health report off the touch screen of the scan tool. And then again, I have the ability to print this report or share this report. If you are using our shop management system, and in the tool menu on the left hand side, it says Maco scan tool. And I open up the dashboard and there's all my health reports produced by the scanner I have assigned to the account. So I can select all or I can select just the ones that I need on the repair order itself. And I can assign it directly to an RO. From this selection, it will create a repair line for every code assigned. And when I go back to the repair tab and select that customer's vehicle, you'll see that it has added a repair line for the codes I selected off the health report that automatically loaded from my scanner to the Maco shop management system. That's some of the many uses of a health report and how to use it with your Maximus scan tool portfolio. That's today's tech tip. Thanks for watching.